kampatia hichi that will not put food on the table of the coastal people it won't historia ni historia it will not put table it will not put food on the table of the coastal people pale ambapo matatizo ya pwani yatatutliwa sote tuweke nguvu pale na kala hii every mca atapatiwa na kala hii jua na tunataka wananchi wa pwani wajue ni kitu gani ndani ya nini ya mkataba huu manake wale manabii wa uongo juzi na jana juzi na jana wale manabii wa uongo walifika hapa hii agreement hawajaisoma tayari wakaja wakasema kwamba agreement uliotoa sahihi baina ya pa na Kenya kwanza inasema hivi na hivi na hivi na hawajaiona wakaitisha press conference wanasema kwamba port ya Mombasa imepatiwa chama cha pa hata kiwa hujasoma ndugu yangu lakini upuzi wa aina hiyo ulitoa wapi tajua hujasoma but please don't go that low please hakuna kitu kimeandikwa hapa kwamba port ya Mombasa imepatiwa chama cha pa nothing like it na agreement hii iko public na tutawapatia lakini kitu ambacho kinanishangaza pilipili usoila mimi nilifikiri watu azimio watafika hapa waseme kwamba sisi azimio mipangilio yetu ni hivi na hivi na mkataba wetu unasema hivi na hivi na hivi kwa siku mbili mfululizo wamefika kilifi shida ni mkataba baina ya pa na Kenya kwanza je mkataba wenu uko wapi ikiwa wetu huu una mashaka wewe ni mudzo hiko ikiwa mkataba wa pa na Kenya kwanza hauna maana ule wenye maana wenu uko wapi hakuna chochote nothing Absolutely nothing. Pa hoye. Pa hoye. Mimi nataka wakazi wa Kilifi na pwani kwa jumla. Safari hii si safari ya kingi. Safari hii ni ya mimi na wewe. Na safari hii na kujikomboa. Na yule ambaye hakubali ukombozi huu ni yule ambaye kwa miaka mingi ametufunga minyororo. Amekuja hapa wanasema kwamba kingi has betrayed me. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba ODM Mzee Raila Amolo Odinga has betrayed the coast region. He has called he has betrayed the coast people. Mzee alikuwa wapi? Kazi za kilindi zinaenda. Where was Raila when all sons and daughters were losing jobs at the port? Where was Mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga? Is that not betrayal? Ni usaliti si usaliti. Hii kilifi hii ndani ya kaunti 47 Hakuna kaunti iliyopeana viti vingi vya ODM kushinda hapa kilifi. ODM ilitufanya nini? ODM ilitufanya nini? Heri jubili. Jubili haikupata hata MCA hapa kilifi. Lakini it nominated a daughter of kilifi. Mheshimiwa Senator Zawadi hapa. ODM na paka chalote kulijaza machungwa kilifi ikambulia patupu ni usaliti si usaliti between me na yeye nani alisaliti watu wa pwani mzee you betrayed us and we are waiting for you on the 9th of august
viti vote vakilifi tulivipitia tulivipatia ODM tukafikiri pengine mtoto akilifi hapa atatauliwa angalao katika bunge la kitaifa mimi mwenyewe leenda kumpigia magoti mzee nilimpelekea jina la Ben Fra huu kijana huyu Ben Fra Ben Fra was the engine ya kampeni ya chungwa hapa kilifi nikamwambia mzee we have delivered all the seats zote tumezileta kwa chungwa please chukua mtoto wetu nominate him as the mp nominated mp katika bunge la kitaifa nataka niulize wa pwani na wakilifi furaha ni mbunge safari hii mzee akakataa flat nikasema sawa chama cha chungwa kina nafasi kubwa kina nafasi ndani ya bunge la Afrika Mashariki East African Legislative Assembly tukasema ikiwa furaha hawezi kupatiwa he cannot be nominated katika bunge la kitaifa mzee muteue katika bunge la jumuiya la Afrika Mashariki Waja nani aliteuliwa katika bunge la East African Assembly Oburu Odinga Ndugu yake tumbo moja Kilifi imekufa na wewe Kilifi tumekupatia viti vote Hatukuuliza mambo mengi kiti kimoja tu mzee one person Mzee akatoka hapa akamchukua ndugu yake tumbo moja at the expense of the kilifi people ni usaliti si usaliti halafu anakuja hapa anasema kwamba i betrayed him mzee you betrayed the coastal people na safari hii tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane hatuko nawe mzee we are not with you huna huruma mzee Huna utu. Viti vote va MCA hapa Kilifi. Chama cha chungwa hata ndururu hakitupatia. We did not receive even a shilling kupiga kampeni hapa. Pesa yetu wakati wetu kujitolea kwa kina mama wa Kilifi. Viti vote tukazoa. MCA wengi tukapata. Tukajua wazi kwamba baada ya kupata viti hivi vote Watoto wetu kina mama zetu watatauliwa katika bunge la kilifi na chama cha ODM. La kushangaza sikizeni vizuri. Maajabu Mzee Raila Molo Odinga alitoa watu sijui wapi akawateua wakaja hapa kama MCAs watauliwa katika bunge la kilifi. Ni haki si? Ni haki ni haki? Ni usaliti si usaliti? Bana mimi na yeye nani msaliti? Mzee you betrayed us and we are waiting for you on the 9th of August. Ikiwa ni usaliti between mimi na yeye who is the biggest betrayer? Kati ya King na Raila, nani msaliti mkubwa? Leo hii naambiwa kwa sababu nilifanywa waziri nisizungumze kwa niaba ya wapwani kwa sababu nilifanywa waziri na Raila ni nyamazi na nilale flat kama bahasha I want to say this nataka niseme hivi Pwani ilichangia pakubwa sana katika kupeana kura za serikali ya nusu mkate mimi kufanya waziri it was in a favor it was not a favor ni kwa sababu ya kura zetu kama wapwani tulizompatia nani Raila Amolo Odinga it was not a favor kile kiti ilikuwa kinakuja uwaziri ulikuwa kivovoto unakuja wapi unakuja nyumbani 
ni kwa ni mimi ni mwingine lakini waziri ulikuwa ni uje wapi uje nyumbani it was not a favor we earned it as cost people kutumia kura yetu kwa hivyo mtu akikwambia kwamba i was doing a favor inanishangaza sana ndo maana safari hii kwa sababu mumezoea kutuingiza katika vikapu vyenu ndo hatuna sauti safari hii mpwani amepata sauti yake kiwa ni gari tuko nalo kiwa ni nyumba tuko nayo huwezi toka huko useme kwamba pwani is your bedroom how na cha kushangaza ni kwamba ikiwa kweli pwani ni bedroom yako Mwana baada ya uchaguzi unasahau bedroom yako unayokumbuka wakati wa campaign peke yako. Why? Bedroom yako ni pahala ambapo unaingia na kutoka. Shida ya bedroom yako unaitatua. Ni vipi? Unaita pwani bedroom yako. Lakini unaikumbuka wakati wa kura. Peke yake. Wapo anataka mchunguze kitu kimoja baada ya rais uhuru kenyata kupeana mkono mheshimiwa raila molo odinga in the handshake sisi kama odm tuliingia tukawa kama serikali sisi tulikao ndo husema vile mzee atakavyo ndivyo vinakuwa ndojo sojo ndani ya serikali mzee akisema vinakuwa ikiwa hii pwani ni bedroom yake ona maajabu alofanya kwa zaidi ya mara tano mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga amepeleka delegations state house kuzungumzia masuala ya maendeleo ya Nyanza five times kila anapoenda kwa kumlilia uhuru amebeba delegation lakini delegation yao wapi what about your bedroom zee What about your bedroom? Bedroom yao hata kitanda haina huko. Kigodoro kimechafuka. Bedroom yako imejaa komba mwiko. Cobwebs. Huji. Safari zako zote unazipeleka kule. All the delegations. Hakuna delegation hata moja ya kutoka kwa bedroom yake ya pwani kwamba huyu ni mpwani na mpelekea uhuru Kenyatta nizungumzie masuala ya pwani shida ya pwani ili mpwani apate suluhisho not even once hakuna hata siku moja mzee Raila alipeleka delegation ya mpwani kwa rais ili kutetea shida ya mpwani delegation zake zote alikuwa anatetea shida za wapi za kule je ni bedroom yake hii Mzee we want to tell you we have rightfully occupied our bedroom Mpwani amechukua pahala kwake This bedroom called cost is now fully occupied by the rightful owners Unakaribishwa sitting room Tutakuheshimu kama mzee wa kitaifa because mgala muwe tunajua ile kazi Raila amefanya kuleta ukombozi wa pili katika taifa letu we know amechangia pakubwa tunajua he has sacrificed a lot lakini kama mbio ya kupokezana vijiti it reaches the time hata kwa unaambiwa aina gani inafika pahali lazima upeane kijiti mzee you have contributed a lot time has come upeane kijiti na utakipeana ama tutakichukua because we must complete this race tuna mwenzi 
kwa yale yote ambayo yamefanyia taifa la Kenya ni mengi na ni makubwa lakini hakuna marefu ya sukuwa na nini Mzee we thank you for the contribution you've made it is time for the new kids on the block to take over And that's why we're here. Kiwa ni heshima tutamheshimu. Lakini kumtumheshimu si kwamba tunyamaze kwa sababu matusi yamemwagwa. Leo hii hatutaki kutusi. Kwa sababu we are here on a serious business discussing ideas, discussing issues. Hiyo ndo kazi ya pa. Nataka niombe wakazi wa pwani. In William Ruto we stand a better chance. In Raila Amolo Odinga our future is bleak. It's dark. Kati ya William Ruto na Raila Odinga rafiki yangu mkubwa ni Raila Amolo Odinga. But this is not about friendship this is not about friendship this is about taking the coastal person to the rightful place this is about our land this is about our economy ingekuwa ni urafiki ndugu yangu singemsongelea william ruto but i'm working with ruto because of the coastal person kwa hivyo nataka niwaambie wakazi wa pwani ikiwa kweli tunataka kutumia kura yetu kujipatia mashamba ikiwa kweli tunataka kutumia kura yetu kuleta kazi na kuziregesha katika kilindi chetu na kukuza uchumi hatuna budi kwamba tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane kura yetu sote wa pwani kura zetu zote za uraisi tumpigie nani tumpigie William Ruto tumpigie nani William Ruto nani William Ruto that is the only way that is the only way na ndo maana kama pa tulienda kuandikisha mkataba na Kenya kwanza and i'm repeating pa haijaingia uda we have not joined uda get it hapa kilifi we have our candidates from governor george all the way to the mcas these are the people you have to elect ni vile tu pa hatuna rais wa pa ndo maana tunaunga mkono nani william ruto lakini kuanzia ugavana hapa tunashuka na nini tunashuka na pa So mtu asije huko ati governor king ameenda uda We are there as partners Na kama juzi wale ambao waliangalia runinga niliwaambia kitu kimoja tu Heshma ndio itafanya paa ikae hapa Msipo tuheshimu kama paa will bolt out Mtu heshimu tuheshimu Lakini mkizembea kama wale wengine waazimio mutazimia kama vile azimio ilizimia So wapani wenzangu this is a journey Hii ni safari ya ukombozi Na nataka niwaambie hata leo hii manake binadamu ni majivu na majivuni tutarudi Hata leo hii Mwenyezi Mungu anichukue Nataka mnipatia ahadi wa pwani kwamba safari hii haitakufa kwa sababu eti king hayuko give me that promise nipeane ahead promise me promise me kwamba hata king hata Mwenyezi Mungu amchukue king safari hii ya ukombozi haitafifia asanteni asanteni sana this is about us this is about us ndugu zanguni
Mtu kwambia kingi kingi kingi. Mwambie sawa, weka kando kingi, tuachezi tuende na paa zetu mbele. Lazima tupae mpaka tupate mashamba yetu, tukuze uchumi na tuheshimike. Kwa haya mengi wa machache, chukueni injili hii na Mwenyezi Mungu atubariki sote. Asanteni, may God bless you all. Thank you.